morning and happy Sabbath, brothers and sisters. I will kindly ask you, please say a silent prayer for me, because while my hands shake and my knees are wobbling, you say a silent prayer. So the words that I say is only but the truth, and by God's grace, that healing will take place. I'm going to open up with saying, the day I lost Tommy, was the day I think I lost myself. He's been an intricate part of my life, meeting at the age of 21, courting, dating, fighting, planning, swimming, giving birth to his eldest daughter. We stayed together until his untimely death at 63. It was a day that I don't really want to remember, but I have to remember it because I also need to live. And the tragedy that I am enduring, but endured then, I have to carry on, and my testimony by God's divine grace will bring healing to even if it's just one person in this church today. I'm also going to start off with saying thank you much appreciated, with a heart filled with gratitude to all those who rallied around, that prayed, that came, that brought food, that even helped financially. Don't ever think that it went unnoticed. And with a heartfelt thank you, please know that from the depth of my heart, you played a pivotal role. When I was asked, to speak about the loss of my husband. Initially, I just went blank because I did not want to remember the 16th of August, 2021, when COVID came and ripped my and my children's world totally ripped us apart. And if per chance you in with me and you lost someone to COVID. I pray that by God's grace we'll have a support group that will rally around. Thank you. That will speak to each other, with each other, hold each other's hands and not judge me or condemn me because I'm grieving too long. You don't know the raging storms that would wallow the pillows of my pillow, the tears that only God knows, the heartache, the frustration, the anger, the disappointment that went along with Tommy to his grave. My children, my grandchildren, he played a pivotal role in our lives. He was our everything. But you know what? God is now my husband. And I trust that each one of us sitting here will be more kinder, will smile more, will hold each other's hand more, will not walk past certain people when they walk down the aisle, but that will just give each other a smile. For an entire year and a half, I didn't want to come to church. I was too wrapped up in the death of my loved one. I didn't want to see anybody. I didn't want to hear anybody. Sabbaths wasn't the same when we were at home. I would hear the music play and a song would resonate and I'm like, I need to have been in church. But I couldn't get here. For some unknown reason, it's two, two feet away. But I couldn't come. And I had to ask people to pray for me to make me strong so that I get to the place where my husband was part of building this church. I got married in this church. He got buried from this church. Such a lot of things happened from this church. And how could I stay away from church? 
And it was hard making my way back, I must be honest. But it was nice also receiving open arms when I walked in this church. And it wasn't just me that lost the husband to COVID. Here's a few widows here. And I trust that by God's grace, we will encourage each other to hold on to Jesus' unfailing love. The capacity we need to get up every day. It isn't easy to know Everything in detail I'm not going to share with you because it's a bit personal. It could be said on a one-on-one -on -one level, but having to almost vacate the house because I couldn't afford the rent. Living there for four months out of a basket with bread and peanut butter and cheese. It wasn't always easy, but you know, by God's divine grace, I stand here today. And I can smile at all of you. I pray that no hatred ever enter into anyone's heart because there's no time for that. Let compassion, let kindness fill you that when you meet whoever you meet, even if you don't know them, that you will give them a smile. You never know what heartache the next person is going through unless you lose someone yourself. I'm standing here with joy because I thank God that he carried my children, my grandchildren and loved ones for 27 months. I didn't think that I'll be standing here. I'm standing here with sorrow because I love I loved, I loved, and he left by God's divine grace because God knew the time. And if we can only understand that the day we were born and until the time God closes our eyes, there's a small time in between and that's about living. How are you and I living in that dash of our time? Tommy and I had lots of plans. He was going to take me to Fishuk, and we always go and Fishuk, but it was a six o'clock morning appointment where we were going to go swim. But then COVID came, and the doctor said he's got sinus. Tommy didn't get better. Tommy goes to hospital. And he says, oh, man, I love you. I'll see you. They'll probably just do an X-ray. They did do an X-ray, but Tommy didn't walk back home. And I hold on to the words that he said, I love you and I'll see you later. Later never came. Sadly, that's what life is all about. Don't ever take anything for granted. Tomorrow is gone. Tomorrow is out of sight. Yesterday is gone. We only have today. Let's love each other. Let go of all the hurt, the pain, the grudges, everything that's negative that the devil wants us to have. Let go of it because you know what? We serve a loving God. We serve a God that's filled with compassion. We serve a God. Jesus died for our sins, and because he died, I can stand here knowing that by his grace, God will help me to face tomorrow. The emotions that we feel, don't judge anybody if they grieve too long. Unless you have that pain, you will not know what it's like. The worries, the constraints, the pain. There was a time I looked in the mirror and I didn't want to know that this is me because my eyes were too puffy, my cheeks were too red. But then some of you came along. Each one in this pew, one of you came along and I'm grateful was you came and at that moment you never know how your presence meant so much. Don't ever isolate yourself from somebody. Reach out to those that you've never reached out with before. Don't cuddle and only hold on to the people that you know. Extend yourself and say hello to those that you never associate with because you 
don't know what the next person is going through and never assume that they are okay. Because you know what? Having the loss of somebody that you've loved, that you no longer have, is a pain that nobody really will then want to endure. I trust that all of you will fondly remember Tommy. He was funny. He was kind. He was God-fearing. He was a man in a million. He was the kind of husband that two o'clock in the morning when both of us couldn't sleep, he'll say, do you want to hoi? Then we go to Saunders and we go watch the formation of the clouds at two o'clock in the morning. He would make a phone call and he'll say, dum, dum, come we go, Charmaine, come, here's my bath we go. And I miss that. I miss the beach. I miss walking into the gardens. I miss everything about him. There's no replacement. So if you have a husband and a wife or you're in a relationship, treasure it. Hold on to it. Don't ever take that person for granted. I pray that by divine grace, God's divine grace, we will love Jesus more. Let us hold on to God's unfailing love. Let us know that there's heaven waiting for us. To those that are hurting, I pray that healing takes place. To those that are in homes where they don't want to be because there's too much scolding or nagging or there's too much maintenance or there's just no money to repair, you got a roof over your head. To those who have health issues, I pray that God will heal and that you'll keep trusting and that your faith will be so strong that you know that God is our healer. To those who are feeling unhappy today, I pray that your unhappiness will turn into total joy because joy will come in the morning. To those who have no hope, or to those that feel hopeless, we're going to help each other, encourage each other, and prepare for heaven, because heaven is real. And by God's divine grace, that each one of us will desire in our hearts to spend eternity with our loved ones. Hold on to the faith that you have in Jesus, no matter the trial, no matter the sorrow, no matter the missing no matter the tears in the eyes, keep on believing that God will carry you through. No matter the situation, there are people that love. There are people that care. There are people that have sunshine on their faces. So don't ever not smile. And when you're lonely, go on your knees. Listen to some music, these beautiful hymns that we can sing. And when everything around you seems dark and gray, pray, because only prayer can sustain you. And by God's grace that each one of us continue to pray for each other and hold on to the blessed hope that soon Jesus will come and we will spend eternity with him. God bless each and every one of you. Lord has done.